Hi guy Mr. Newmobile here. With only a couple of months now until the iPhone 12 launch date we have the latest leaks, including if we will get iPhone 12 September launch date or in October. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So it's time to sit back for my latest news about the Apple iPhone 12 release dates and price with my latest iPhone 12 review, specs, and design. On this August and that means we can start counting down the weeks to the iPhone 12 launch demand and release of the phone, here is my latest weekly video of the latest leaks, all you Apple fanboys and cares of the Apple iPhone 12 launch date, along with the iPhone 12 price we expect to pay, for the upcoming models with a recap, for the specs we know so far Celestine Momentum, the latest iPhone 12, and iPhone 12 Pro news. So since the iPhone 11, has been lots of iPhone 12 leaks given. Let's continue on so that's the latest news during Apple's Q3 2020. Earnings call this week the Apple CFO Luca Pastry confirmed the release of this as iPhone 12 will be slightly king in the last quarter. We can explain Apple began selling the new iPhones in September 2019, basically talking about the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. And that really and usually leakers says that Apple is currently expecting the new iPhones this year to come several weeks later. Lucas' exact words were, as you know, last year we started selling iPhones in late September this year we expect supply to be available a few weeks later, my back September last year the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro were released on September 20th, a free week delay this year, meaning the iPhone 12 lineup could be released in mid-October at the earliest. We have the leak format I have to last week. He provides us of the iPhone 12 the Apple Watch 6 on the iPad will be showing an online event on September 8 this year for Apple to confirm us this is a total first as Apple is always every year's refuse to even acknowledge that and the iPhone is coming. Let's not confirm any so the details about the release dates or any delays during the questions and answers that happen later on. He then said I said in my remarks. I think the lie of the new product will be a few weeks later that that prior to this Apple's announcement. This be quite similar evidence Apple would be forced to slightly delay the release of the iPhone 12. Just yesterday Qualcomm said that a key flagship smartphone with 5G was being pushed back, did not mention any specific names or brands. It's not so uncommon for Apple to push the release of the iPhones into October, week November. In fact, 2019 marked the first time in three years Apple lost its entire flagship lineup the same time in 2017, the iPhone X was announced September, but not released until November time and date, as an AT&T iPhone XL was announced in September, but not released until October, time as I've said many videos, and we are all aware about the global pandemic that we all continue Slifer has had, a serious impact on technology, supply chains and manufacturing, with her time and time again, the iPhone 12 Pro, be available on time like normal year releases, of course, there's nothing to stop Apple announcing it several weeks before they actually start selling the actual model. As mentioned in one of my large base this year, but guards have to wait to see what kind of schedule Apple are planning in powers, and it is, of course for the iPhone 12 Max and the iPhone 12 Pro, the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 battery only has 2227 million powers, we iPhone 12 Pro Max has 3687. This was discovered in certification, and so it is very likely to be true, but given the increased efficiency in the 814 battery life. Still, it should not be a problem. So not to the upgrades the iPhone 12 is coming with improved cameras that was always to be expected last week, I told you guys in the periscope lens is not happening, is that and save it for next year's iPhone. This is iPhone 12 we still get some upgrades, Michiko advises that Apple moving to you, Samco and Sunny optical lenses, and they're introducing a voice, Coil Motors voice, and this is an improved stabilization that uses magnets instead of the improved the autofocus as well. We had news of improved speeches in the iPhone 12 which again. It was always likely, and this news comes from everything, Apple Pro and Max wing back. We don't get to see the speaker itself. We can in fact. They seem to have better performance, especially with the lower frequencies they provided, a clip of the iPhone 12 speaker playing at 50% volume will go ahead and listen to that now we will see what news of Gorilla Glass Victors, which is an exciting new strength in class. This will help protect your device's display many blogs, and now citing at this is part of the iPhone 12 design, but I'm being told that it's not probably the iPhone 12 is not. 
adopting this new technology would likely get have to wait for the iPhone 13 finally, with some reports from Microtech are now these are based on quotes from multiple Chinese suppliers, and the saying the 5G iPhones will be postponed until November the launch, will still be in September as expected, and this can be for all four models for we normally, see the release a couple of weeks after Microtech are advising that the LT iPhone 12 can go on sale in mid-October of salt. For now, but as soon as I get some more information and update you guys right away. Unfortunately, that's all the information I have today with all four models launching on the second week of September. It's not going to be long until Apple confirm things themselves. We've already had pretty much the full specs for all four models to quickly run through that now, to start with with the it looks ideal for one-handed use, doesn't it? We got the same impression last year when Max Redberg, a Swedish graphic designer, created a concept illustration of how the new 5.4 inches size might look. The Mikado Kara report linked above also supports the existence of the new sizes. The site predicted some while ago that iPhones in 5.4 inches, 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches sizes would be launched in late 2020. The death of lightning it's a recurrent rumor, but will 2020 be the year Apple finally gives in and replaces its proprietary lightning port with USB-C, as it did on it not, since that was a special case fast data transfers to and from cameras being a requirement of many digital creatives. And owners of lightning-based headphones and other accessories would be pretty ticked off and this is just can record the iPhone 12, is a 5.4-inch iPhone with lets to progress in the display, from Samsung is important to note straight, off the bat this to progress no means absolutely nothing. So don't get too caught up on that, but nonetheless, it can be an owner display with a resolution of 2348x1080. This gives us a 475 pixels per inch, and it's got an 8-bit color depth, with there have been rumors of almost having a 120Hz displays. Unfortunately, it appears that this model is only can be 60Hz, is can be equipped with 4 gigs of RAM, and it can come with the choice of 128 or 256 storage, it's got an Armenian frame, and of course, is the Apple 814 Bionic chip with 5G support the iPhone 12, is coming with Joe cameras on the ray, and it will, of course, be shipping with iOS 14 for those that want the 4 gig of RAM, with 128 storage, is launching the price of $649, if you want to upgrade it to the 256 gig iPhone 12, and it's 750 50 next up with the iPhone 12 Max to be clear, this is the Max, and not the Pro Max the iPhone 12 Max has a 6.1 inch outlet display, this again is a super retina, it did not pass the quality assurance test it comes with a resolution of 2532, what by 1170. This gives us a 460 pixels per inch and again. It has an 8-bit color depth get 4 gigs of RAM choice of 128 or 256 storage, and of course the iPhone 12 Max is powered by the 14 Bionic chip is. Armenian frame 5G connectivity uses actual camera setup on the rare for those that want the 128GB iPhone 12 Max is going to be launching, at a price of $749 for those that want the 2560 version, that in the price rises it to $849. Next up the iPhone 12 Pro, also has a 6.1 inch, display with actually the same size as the iPhone 12 Max, we do have an improved display in specs, the iPhone 12 Pro 61 inch Super Retina, owner display with promotion and 10 bit color depth display, is manufactured by Samsung, and has a resolution of 2532x1170, giving us 460 pixels open unconfirmed and there are few people, saying this may not happen, the iPhone 12 Pro comes with 6 gigs of RAM, and a choice of 128, 200 256 or even 512 gig storage. It of course ships with the Apple 14 Bionic chip, set the iPhone 12 Pro, is 5G compatible. It comes in a stainless steel frame, and on the rear we get a triple camera setup, along with the lighter sense of adapters, for the 128 gigs, iPhone 12 Pro it can be $999, for the 256 it's 1099, the 512 gig iPhone 12 Pro is can be $1299. Last but not least we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max The iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with a 6.7 inch outlet display Again this is Super Retina display and hopefully with promotion get a 10 bit color depth and of course it is manufactured by Samsung to the resolution of 2778x1284 This gives us 458 pixels per inch Again, we expect and hope it's can be a 120Hz promotion display, but there are few 28 256 0512 internal storage has got a stainless steel frame, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is of course powered by the 814 Bionic chipset. This does have 5G support just like the iPhone 12 Pro, we get three cameras in the rear, along with the lighter sensor, for those who want the 128GB iPhone 12 Pro Max, is can the launch at a price of $1099, if you have the 2060 version. 
It's $1199 and for those that want the most expensive in the range, the 512 iPhone 12 Pro Max can be launching at a whopping $1399, and what is, of course, important to note that these pricing leaks came very early on from John Prosser, is provided plenty of accurate leaks, but also got some of them wrong. Recently he also provided this very early on. So there is a chance that things could change, but personally I think that there at least can be very close to what we see overwrote, the Apple iPhone 12 is proving to be a great range of iPhones that many of you guys looking forward to is great. We've got all of this in this to have some surprises that launch while there may be delays in the release date the launch is expected to be on time, and that will, of course be 8 September this year, given the current outbreak it's likely that it's again going to be an online-only launch event, similar to the last worldwide developer conference as always, though, if any, more information comes to light. I'll be sharing with you guys straight away, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts, in the comments was excited for the iPhone 12 launch, and you think we'll get a 120Hz display, enabled in the software. Well have been said, please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you.